Good morning, you guys. So I figured I'd come on and we'd do a, some stitches on my new embroidery machine. Um, I actually got this design and I absolutely love it. So I'd like to make six of these to go um, into a little wall hanging quilt for my room. Not these colors though. Um, most of my room is like a pink and teal, so I figured um, we'd do more bright colors. Uh, not so much dark ones, but I'm going to go ahead and thread my machine. Because I have not done that yet. This is a weird angle for me to try to do this. Um... I was trying to make my video earlier, and my friend kept texting me, and every time he texted me, it knocked me off video, so that sucked. I already checked my bobbin thread, that's good, I already hooped my fabric along with my stabilizer so that's ready to go just have to put my thumb drive in this arm that I got for my camera sucks it just it takes me forever to get it in the correct position so that I can go ahead and film with it Yesterday, part of it broke. I had to super glue it. It sucked. <laughs> so, now that I got my thumb drive in, I'm going to go ahead and pull up that design. I ordered the design on Etsy, and the lady was very nice. She had to resize it for me because it did not go with a 4x4 machine. So, that was pretty cool of her. I'm going to size it just a little bit smaller. No. That should be good. So, I have my thread in there that I want to start with, with the, which is the uh, bright green. I don't know what it's called. If it's called fluorescent green or what, I'll have to look at that for you. Got it ready to go. Put my little thing down there. Grab my thread. And this design only takes 10 minutes, I believe. I'm sorry if that light in there is too bright. I'm hoping you guys can see it. I'm sure you'll be able to see it once it, um, yeah, okay. So that color is done so I will go ahead and switch that to my next color also um, she has a lot of different designs in that shop she's got uh, actually some really pretty butterfly ones too that I love I think I'm gonna go lavender it's um so the first one was Brother 502, that was a green, 
This one is 804. Very pretty lavender. And I'm hoping I do not end up bumping my phone. That's what I'm filming on, by the way. I feel like taking out my big camera. I actually hardly ever use my big camera unless it's for work, which I um, run a mini storage facility. And I use it to take my pictures. What, where'd my thread go? <laughs> where did my thread go? You know, isn't it true that when something goes wrong, it's going to go wrong when you're filming? Yes, it is. Alright, anyway, I run a mini storage facility and I use my camera to take my pictures for my um, auctions that I do here. And I do have an auction coming up. So, I had to take pictures with it yesterday. against that lavender. Very pretty. I think I'm going to use hmm. what color should I use for the box? It does suck having to change the threads all the time, but the design when it comes out is so worth it. Someday, probably years down the line, I would love to have a multi-needle machine. Um, but like I said, that's, that is literally years down the line. you on the pattern what colors but I'm not gonna go by that <laughs> I'm gonna do what colors I want to do so and I'm pretty sure you're not supposed to pull your thread out like that because it can cause lint uh, but yeah I try pulling it through the other way, but I'm not going to waste a bunch of thread cutting it up high just to pull it down lower. I'll clean my machine out every once in a while just to keep it running good. Mm. 
never had a problem with my brother sewing machine. As a matter of fact, I, like I said in my other video, I love brother machines. Okay, what's going on here? What's the matter, Sadie? Hmm. Let's try that again. There we go. Sometimes it's hard to get a hold of. All right. I love hummingbirds. So those of you that don't know me, I have hummingbirds here um, at my property in Las Vegas and I feed them by hand. Um, at least I used to. I have a bird feeder out now for them. Um, I'm pretty sure the one I used to feed by hand passed away a few months back because I haven't seen it for a while. But I have two out there that come and visit me every single day. They'll come and they'll fly and hover right in front of my office window. And Steve, my fiance that passed away five, just over five years ago, absolutely loved the hummingbirds. And I don't blame him. I did too. And I do. Um, However, when I went back home to Michigan this last time, I got a hummingbird tattoo. Actually, my oldest son and my youngest son gave it to me. Um, my oldest boy designed it, and then they both gave me the tattoo. I can't get that damn string. So... I have a hummingbird tattoo on my left shoulder blade that says Steven and the date he passed away. So hummingbirds mean a lot to me. I think I'll go this really pretty blue on the wings, and I'll show you that in a minute. Let me switch that out. This will be the last thread. And then we'll be done. So I am going to, like I said, I'm going to make six of these on white. I have some beautiful uh, Tilda um, fabric that I'm going to use for the quilt. Um, I'm actually going, going to uh, put... Uh, like a frame around each um, hummingbird and we'll see how it turns out and I want to hang it right above my sewing machine that's right next to me here there we go that one was a little easier to be the last color and I don't know it bunches up right there for some reason I'll show you when I'm done with it hopefully it doesn't mess up I'm 
just sitting here having my coffee. It's 8 o'clock in the morning right now. I get up at 6 every day to go open my gate at 6.30. And then at 9 o'clock I open my office. So I thought I'd do this before I go to work. I gotta go get ready for work about 8.30. share this with you before I go. for her um, but for some reason my comments are turned off I don't know why um, I don't know why I didn't turn them off I never disabled my comments I'll have to go in and figure out how to turn them back on. figure out why my comments are disabled because that's kind of strange I didn't do that so let me go ahead and take this off here I have to cut my strings off oh that turned out so cute let me pull you back here yeah, it turned out really cute. I like that. So, I like the colors. Let me uh, get where there's more light. Yeah, I like how that turned out. It turned out really good. So, that's that pattern. Um, I have to cut thread still. But I will link her Etsy store below if you want to go check her out. She has some amazing uh, bird uh, butterflies, and um, it's so cool. All right, guys. I love you lots. I'll talk to you later. Bye-bye.